hey guys what i'll be showing you today is how you can use your pc power supply as you can see on the screen to charge any 12 volt battery or 24 volt battery as the case may be but most suitable for 12 volt battery because of the power supply and the current rating so basically this is a pc power supply desktop as you can see this is the rating and the color coding and their voltages let me zoom in properly so good so as you can see orange is 3.3 volts yellow is plus 5 7 amps you also have blue plus 12 20 amps you have white which is minus 12 3.8 amps you have purple plus 5 volts 2 amps you have the black which is your common you have the green which is the ps on when you tie this green to any of the negative or the ground terminal it activates this power supply automatically so basically this yellow here yellow is plus 12 volt mind you this i think this is wrong because yellow is plus 12 volt white blue is minus 12 volt as the case may be so let's just go into testing it i've gone ahead to strip the head off which you should also do in your case so this you can see already stripped and tag them all, all arranged together at the same time all yellows are also tagged as you can see these are zip ties this is the black which is the ground this is red plus 5 volt this is green which is the start button for this power supply you have to connect it to one of these black terminals in order for it to be actively on every time you connect so as you can see this is gray let me go for that this is gray this is brown and this is blue so right now i'm just gonna power it so let's put it this way let's see if it's gonna stay so this is a power supply as you can see this is the power i'm gonna connect it right now as you can see this is the cooling fan session the cooling fan is on standby so let's do the activation process so now this is the green cable so I'm gonna take one of the black as you can see this black I'm already straight so right now I want you to wash while I tie both together so you can see the cooling fan is turned on meaning our power supply has been activated at this point so this is it it's been properly tied so let's just test each of the terminals to see what our power supply is so on this one i'm just gonna tie one of the ground to negative of my multimeter so as a multimeter there so let's run the test start with orange so So now let's start with the orange. There you go. So orange is 3 volts, 3.3 volts. So let's start with yellow.
is damaged. So guys, let's test the yellow. As you can see, yellow is plus 12. It was initially showing plus 5 volts here. So that was wrong. So let's go for the purple. Purple is plus 5 here. See? Plus 5 volt, 2 amps. So let's go for red red is plus 5 volt as well let's go for gray so gray is plus 5 volt that is it so this is a 12 volt eps battery it's rated here 7.5 amps 12 volts as you can see 12 volts 7.5 amps so this is the rating of this battery so right now we're going to run a test on this battery to see what the voltage are so there you go showing 9 volt currently meaning the battery is really drained put that aside get another one this is another 12 volt battery this is 12 volt 4.5 amps so let's just run the voltage test as you can see this one doesn't have any voltage at all so this this is 11 volts as you can see 11 volts so we need to charge either this or this so we'll start with this which has more power in it so in order to charge this 12 volt battery you need to combine one of the yellow and the 3 volt which is uh, gray so this is a 3 volt terminal which is the brown here so let's run the test all over so but before that i'm going to pause the video and go ahead to tie all this together connect all the negative together the same for all the terminals <clears throat> so as to maximize the amperage of this power supply so let me just pause the video and do that right away so guys i'm going to ahead to do the separation so you can see i've already taped this out taped the negative out except the, the trigger which is this so what we'll be needing is this minus 11 12 volt rather minus 12 volt and plus 3 volts so when you do a combination of this it's going to give you plus 15 volts which we've already tested initially so these are the two we'll be using for this charger to charge our batteries as you can see so right now i'm gonna head to get two of this five gauge cable for our charging so i'm just gonna terminate both end so this is gonna go straight to the negative so 
can just do this you can apply a little lead so it stays properly also twist around this so there you go I can just put this here so Right now, I'm just going to apply a little soda to it. soda to this so it sticks properly there you go I should just do it the positive terminal so we'll do the same for the negative terminal still gonna apply a little soda to this so there you go this is just to make sure it sticks properly that should just do it so I'm gonna have to do the same for both so I'm just going to tape this out. So guys, there we go. I've already done the soda. So this now what we need to do is power our circuit. As you can see, it's the pad on. So these are the two cables which will be needed for the charger. So let's just test them out. So it's for the negative for the positive there you go 15 volts so that's exactly what we need right now to charge this battery to full capacity so basically this battery can handle about 13.8 volts so let's just kick start the charging but before that let's test as well so currently batteries at 10.1 volts so let's just charge it right away Just test to see. As you can see, it's showing 14.4 volts. So we're gonna use this to charge it for about 30 minutes. So the battery raised to about 12.5 volts. So this is basically how you can charge your 
12 volt batteries with your CPU power pack. So, if you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.